also for the set the activity class class activity ini pun nampak 20 macam nak open ni ay class activity dah pencet Uh, untuk class activity 11 Jan also, I, I create another page. Okay, uh, since it's nearly 10.30, takut tak sempat pula ni ya. So, let us go to this uh, examples again. Okay, so uh, hopefully, hopefully at least everyone uh, manage to draw the root locus diagram. Eh? So, please do the root locus diagram. Let's say I look at the first one just now. Yang clear sikit siapa punya eh. I think uh, Izati ni clear kot. Dia buat kat graph paper. Betul, betul Izati? Ini page tu. Page tu. Okay, ni. Okay, uh, Izati buat dia kat graph paper. Jadi, uh, now that uh, this is the whole because uh, my solution I only take a part of it eh. Kat sini. So saya ambil the, the first this one. Okay kalau kita tengok yang Izati punya tadi. So this is the one uh, kita nampak ni pun kecil. Saya tak tahu nak besar macam mana. Okay kalau kita tengok eh uh, we have 0 and minus 4. So this one uh, uh, kalau boleh masa masa buat Ujian, okay thank you Zati. Kalau boleh masa ujian tu kita buat different color lah to differentiate. So from 0 to 1 and then they break dekat minus 1.76. So dia pergi kat sini. Uh, they intersect with 0.6.32J um, and then another one minus 4 tu dia akan turun intersect, dia turun di bawah. So kalau boleh you do three different colors lah because step 3 we know that there are three root locus. One, Two and then another one minus ten. Ayat ni yang saya maksudkan the the apa on the left of the odd, on the real axis. Eh? So kalau real axis ada satu point, dua point. Kalau ada zeros termasuk zeros. So point one, point two, point three. So left of odd maknanya point one and point three. So kita tahulah we have the idea that the locus will be starting dia dekat sini and then this one. Okay cantik. So this one dah dapat satu. So, yang ni bila kita, I assume to, I hopefully that you faham lah eh. So, bila kita intersect, ini yang part, apa? Part, uh, step 9. Okay, now uh, Izati, can you, boleh ke kat sini? Tak boleh kan? Uh, can you try? Ada ruler ke apa ke? Okay. Ataupun Izati try buat Izati, um, dapatkan, uh, Kita kata zeta 0 0.5 eh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the required damping ratio 0 0.5. Therefore beta kita 60 degrees. So Zati can you do 60 degrees uh, approximate lah. You buatkan 60 degrees kat sini and then um, panjangkan line dia. Katakan uh, kalau X minus 4. So Y tu berapa? Cari and then uh, anggaran lah. Uh, buatkan line warna merah ke biru ke. Boleh tak Izati? Okay so kat sini je ke doktor? Ah, dekat sini je. Awak buatlah satu line pakai pen ni kan. Kalau uh, kalau daripada 0.4 okay. 60. Betul tak 60 tu? <laughs> Cakap. Ya. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, kalau uh, zero, <laughs> kalau kat sini 0.4, why dia berapa? Cuba cerita, uh, cuba cari sekejap. Uh, maknanya tangent kan? Sebab kita dah tahu sudut tadi 60 degrees. So tangent will be y over 4. So kita nak dapatkan point y, jadi kita sambungkan point tu. Faham tak maksud saya? 60 degrees tu. Understand? A class, faham tak? So kita dapat Y sini, uh, X adalah 4. So kita dah tahu line tu, line yang kita nak buat adalah 60 degrees. So kalau sini 4, Y tu berapa? Please calculate someone. Sebab saya tak ada scientific calculator. Uh, tangent, tangent 60 will be Y over 4. Saya nak dapatkan point Y di sini. Hey. Okay, kita pakai internet ni. Y 6.9. Okay, so dalam 6.9 dengan 4 tu you tandakan and then baru baru buat line tadi. Faham maksud saya eh? Sama uh -huh. dia, ah, baru baru buat drawkan line. Tak usah saya sini kira draw. Ah ni 6.5. Dia 6 point berapa tadi? 49. 6.93. 6.93. Dia tak boleh. Tak apa, tak ada ruler eh sini. Saya padam dulu. Six point nine three. Kita tandakan 6.93 dulu. So this is uh, 6. Uh, 6.93 sini kan? Betul kan? So sini lah lebih kurang. So kita buatlah straight line tu. Let's say lah eh. Saya punya tangan gegar-gegar sikit ni. Ha, sini lah. Okay. So kita nak dapatkan point ni. So you try on your own. Uh, you siapa yang dah buat tu. Apa lagi? Dapatkan point that one. Itu. Tew and all that. Tew ni draft saja yang tu. Kalau boleh kita buat dekat graph paper so that we can get the value eh. So exam memang kena graph paper. Please. Tak boleh tak boleh buat nanti. Okay let's say uh, you order buat. Okay this is what I mean by dalam nota saya eh. So 60 degrees here. So you do the straight line. Okay and then you will get let us draw a line uh, 0B beta 60 and determine the point of intersection so in this case D and then uh, this is the first syarat another syarat is the required time is 1 the time constant eh? so therefore uh, 1 over T sebab kat sini adalah 1 over T for the straight line parallel to imaginary axis is 1 over T so 1 over T1 tu kita buat kita tengok satu and then kita buat lah so I differentiate 1 with red Red for the first condition, the zeta not exceed 0 0.5 and then the green one is for the second condition which is uh, t equal to 1. Okay, so kita akan ada uh, sini lah point here and point here. So the zeta is uh, red, the time constant tadi ac green. Okay, so next, so from graph you will determine the this point of intersections. Okay, follow design requirement. Zeta does not exceed 0 0.5 and T is less than 1 second. Point D satisfied. So, kita ada D dengan E tadi. So, the point D satisfied the design requirements. The value of K is calculated. Okay, so we have uh, ingat lagi saya mention masa first when we discuss about root locus um, concept. So I uh, we discuss on the uh, the angle and the magnitude. Eh? So K bila kita rewrite based on the characteristic equations. So K over this one is actually the distance between the poles and the selected uh, point yang satisfied the requirement in this case is D. So since we have three roots, semuanya adalah poles, 
kalau kita ada zeros uh, dia punya apa zeros tu akan jadi numerator jadi dia akan kena tolak eh okey so since all the the first uh, examples ni all are zero uh, are poles so kita ada poles 1 poles 2 poles 3 so now what we did adalah kita dapatkan distance distance from 0 to d distance from uh, p1 to d distance from p2 to d and then distance from p3 to d so this is what it means by magnitude of s plus 10 here magnitude of s plus 4 and magnitude of s okay once we calculate graphically okay sebab kita buat graphically ni ya eh? sebab nak dapatkan point yang dia intersect memang you have to do it graphically so once we have that uh, we measure ruler okay and then we put this value into this equations okay so this tadi tadi kalau s is 2.85 kalau S plus 4, 3.6 and then S plus 10 is 8.9. So equal to 1. Sebab kalau kita ada 0, 0 tu akan jadi ke atas. Okay. Uh, P plus, uh, P, uh, bukan P, S plus Z1 lah macam tu eh. So uh, therefore dia akan divide, bukan bukan tolak-tolak tu sudut sorry eh. So dia akan divide bila K tu. So K will be 1 times all this point. 1 times 2.85 times 3.6 times 8.90. So therefore, the kid that satisfied the design spec is 91.3. Ada soalan? Hello class, senyap je semua orang ni faham ke tak faham? Hello, nak saya, uh, do you need me to explain again? Uh, doctor, I have a question. Okay. Uh, how to get the S plus 4 is, is equal to uh, 3.6? Distance. Distance Kim. Kim, right? Yang tanya tadi? Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so bila you dapat point sini kan? Uh, this is for design criteria yang damping and then you buatlah satu tu so ni distance, distance daripada sini daripada point yang intersect tu kita punya pole satu and then distance um, point intersect dengan kita punya pole number two and then point of intersection dengan pole kita number Allah bingkau-bingkau <laughs> dengan point apa Ah, doi, bengkok, sorry ya. Eh. So you measure graphically lah. Unless you dapat tahu apa point ni, you guna matematik and all that. Okay, tapi uh, untuk this class, uh, untuk the test, untuk uh, test you on the understanding, I will, uh, you measure pun dah cukup. You measure guna ruler. Uh, did I answer you, Kim? Okay. Macam ni kan? Uh, 3.6 lah, you measure lah. Guna pembaris measure dia. Daripada point of intersection yang apa satisfy the design criteria to the poles. Sebab kenapa macam itu? Because of the characteristic equation says that. Eh, kenapa dia patah balik? Depan nombor. Okay. Dah bagi sign lah tu ya. ni tadi ya. Eh? Uh, why why we measure the distance? This is what we learned uh, previously on the concept. The characteristic equation says that the distance or the magnitude of kgs kghs equal to 1. So therefore from this k equal to distance s distance s plus 4 distance s plus 10. Okay. Did I answer you, Kim? Uh, yes. So, so uh, we we use the ruler to to measure the the line only lah. Yes, yes. Measure, measure guna ruler. Yang ni pun measure ikut sudut kalau tak nak buat yang macam saya cakap tadi tu kan. Calculate tangent, blah, blah. Measure sudut pun okay. Measure sudut 60 and then dapatkan point intersect and then you uh, kira pakai ruler. Yes. That's right. 
Alright. Thank you, okay. Doctor. Uh -huh. Ada lagi soalan selain daripada soalan daripada Kim? Semua faham ke ni? So when we, when we measure the the distance, uh -huh. uh, we do it in cm lah. Ah uh -huh. yes yes. Uh, depend dengan graf you lah. Kalau graf you, you pakai uh, you pakai apa? Mana kita tengok uh, izatif ni tadi ya? Kalau you pakai ani kan? Kalau you buat by tu, kena time by tu jangan lupa eh. Katakan let's say the value are all very big kan. Ha, macam ni 6 ni, betul Izzati pakai 6 ke macam mana Izzati? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So ini uh, one kota is 0.5 kan? Betul tak Izzati? Ha, so you kena hmm. kena convert lah. Tengok berapa, berapa maknanya satu kota ni bukan one kan? 0.5 tu. Betul Izzati? Betul. Ha, ha, jadi you kena 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 tengok dia punya skill lah. Okey bagus uh, bagus soalan Tiu tadi. So jangan assume vision ni ni value dia bukan eh bukan. <laughs> so mesti you apply kan. Mungkin kalau mungkin Izati kalau dia dah dapat ni dia eh kenapa tak sama dengan uh, jawapan doktor kan? Because skill skill. Remember eh. Thank you uh, for for highlighting it Tiu. Very good question. Ada lagi? Kalau tak saya pun tak faham tak perasan. Sebab yes, uh, because of that ramai yang uh, part tu dia salah. <laughs> dia terlupa kan nak convert balik pada skill tu. Any other question? Banyak sangat nak digest ke? Okay, uh, sebelum banyak sangat nak digest tu uh, sebab ni kita ada long weekend kan. Lepas tu selasa kita tak ada kelas pula tu. Tak pusam kan? Asyik cuti sajalah you all. Okay so uh, I will put the the second examples. Sekejap eh. Hopefully this time it works. Asyik tak boleh tengok je ni. Uh, what about this one class? Boleh nampak tak? Uh, lecture 13B. Hello? Sekarang Google Meet nampak. Google Meet lagi. Aduh sebab saya lecture 13 tu ni saya belum uh, saya belum letak dekat website. Sekejap ni. Masih Google Meet eh. Ada masalah lah selalunya okey je Google Meet eh. Okay, uh, jadi kita tengok balik dekat uh, our So this one dah uh, hopefully semua faham okay, So saya add satu lagi So I need you to try to this one eh. Uh, lecture 30 B. Satu je. Nanti saya so create a uh, jambot juga. So kita boleh discuss lagi dalam kelas next class. Sekarang you nampak saya punya e-learning? Kelas? Nampak. Nampak eh? Okay. Um, untuk yang example yang ini, dia lain sikit. Dia bukan lain apalah. Hmm. Yes, yang saya nak try. So you are try. So I just add a one zeros here. Okay. So ada one zeros. Jadi sama juga nanti you kira juga distance dia. So jadi bila uh, bila kira K, distance yang ni divide by distance S plus 1.5 eh. Okay. Itu satu. Oh, so ni tak ada complex number so it will be easier. Tapi soalan dia eh. Uh, so tak ada complex number step 8 boleh ignore. Okay. Now design the value of K to yield 1.52% overshoot. So sekarang saya tambah overshoot. And then yang lain sama. Estimate the settling time, peak time. Okay itu semua kita dapat daripada sini lah. Okay. So saya tambahkan. 
overshoot sini 1.52 so kita belajar uh, on the previous lecture notes 13a tadi ada formula on the overshoots and zeta and beta and all that so you kena dapatkan value tu dulu and then masukkan here ada soalan cuba weekend lama ni panjang daripada uh, apa uh, Sabtu Ahad Isnin Selasa tak ada kelas sampai next Friday we meet and then I would like to look at your root locus with the transient response analysis any question class